I was asked, how do I know which are the log sources that are consuming my EPS license the most? Well, to do that, I went into the uh, web and searched for curator and EPSs, and I found this entry. And this is a very prolific guy, Jonathan Petcher. And he produced uh, these searches. Let's actually run them without understanding even the logic of the SQL. We're going to go back. Uh, it's easy to understand. You need to be, this is on their logs that I'm searching, not flows. And you need to be not on quick search, quick filter, but uh, advanced search, right? And when I paste that and I click and I hit search, this is a search for the last 30 days. So it's going to take a while. Now you see it's doing 1%, but it's uh, completing as it goes. Uh, I have retention bucket for a week or so, so it should not, yeah, it, after it passes the first week, then it, it, it flies quickly. But we actually see the number of events uh, per the search. Let's go into and see the other search that we have in here. Notice that it's exactly the same search. The difference is the divider, the divisor here, in which this in seven days, that's the number of seconds versus this 30 days. So if we go back here, let's delete all that and space the new search when we run it. It's going to take about the same time as the other one because again, I only have like a week of retention bucket. So it completes uh, very quickly. Let's see what else uh, Jonathan has put in here. EPS rates per log source. That seems to be interesting. Let's grab that one. Let's go here and paste this one. And that runs much faster, right? And we got the per log sources. Uh, this is a demo system, so I have a very limited amount of uh, component. Looks like I'm getting a lot of uh, what's on advisor says infinity. <laughs> that should be a pretty big uh, number. Now, when you are doing this uh, copy pasting thing, if you get an error, let me actually induce an error here. Let me actually remove the, or let me replace the. single quotes by double quote. That's also a confusing part of uh, AQL. If I were to run this, it actually took the double quote as well. But if I were to remove the qu quotes altogether, then it's not going to know what to name that column. It has spaces on it, so I'm sure it's going gonna, it's gonna to complain. Yeah, you see? It complains. And when you click here on more details, you're going to see exactly the uh, the place where where the problem is actually happening. We see a last uh, example that Jonathan put in here. Event counts and event types per day. Let's actually grab that one and run it. I'm sure there are other, I'm, I'm sure that there are Pulse dashboard that has been created to show this information. And you can actually even do, you can look at my videos on Pulse and you can create a dashboard that gives you this information instead of this tabular way in a nice bar chart, you know, time series, whatever is it uh, that you want to have. So here you have it. How do I get how my log sources are consuming my EPS licenses?